Hello everyone, so I wanted to show you uh, this technique for creating bandages on the hand. So I open up the uh, demo project here and I change this model to a Dynamesh model. Okay, then I'm just gonna start off with uh, using my mask. Okay, so I hold down control, change this to mask lasso. Okay, I'm gonna mask this area over here. Okay, so this area when it's extracted is gonna be uh, the area where my uh, bandage is gonna be. Okay, so I first learned about this tutorial from another YouTube video. Uh, but the original sound is not very good, so I decided to record again for you guys. So uh, the extract thickness, I'll make it a bit thinner, so I'll change it to 0 0.05. And I just press uh, accept after I extract it. Okay, so I have a little bit of thin thickness from this, uh, this piece over here that is extracted. Okay, so now what I can do is uh, we can look for this brush called the uh, slice curve. Slice curve. Okay, this, so this one is uh, what it does is it's gonna cut a, a piece and then the, it's go also going to set a color to it. Okay, so if I use my number zero on my hotkeys, and then you will, will tell me to use Control Shift click to use it. Okay, Control Shift click. And I'll start using my slice curve. Or if you are using my hotkeys, it's gonna be number zero. So control shift, it's gonna slice. Okay, but now you see that it does nothing. So so why it does nothing? You have to press shift F to look at the uh poly groups or the polyframe colors, and that's where you will see how this uh colors is all being formed. So slice curve essentially works on Poly groups or poly all these uh, poly group colors. So it helps us to just slice up this piece into various different uh, poly groups for us. With each slice, you hold down Control Shift and you'll be able to slice a different color too. Okay, so once again, this is the slice curve brush, and uh, you, or you can use number zero on our brush. Okay, so holding down Control Shift. And we left click, we would select each of these polygroups. So control shift left click, I'll select this, and control shift drag, I'll slice. And control shift left click, I'll release it. Control shift left click, control shift slice, control shift release, control shift left click, control shift slice, control shift left click, control shift left click, control shift slice, control shift left click. Okay, so I'm starting to create a pattern uh, on the front and the back of the bandage, and then this will give us some nice details of uh, slashes later. Okay, now I can make it a little bit more advanced. Control shift left click, control shift drag, and then when halfway when dragging, we can press alternate. We tap it once, we tap alternate once, alternate. And then you can turn a little bit. So the slice curve is able to turn a little bit. And then control shift left click, control shift left click, control shift, tap alternate, release. Control shift left click, control shift left click, control shift slice, control shift press alternate, control shift left click, control shift left click, slice, press alternate, turn it a little bit, control shift left click, control shift slice, turn it a little bit, control shift left click, control shift left click, slice, control shift, control shift, slice, control shift, control shift, press alternate once. Slice, control shift, left click. All right, so now we have this so very nice uh, different shading of uh, poly groups colors we have over here. So now I'll go to geometry, panel loops. Okay, so I'll change this uh, loop to two. So if you want to know uh, what the loop does, this defines the number of loops that will be created. Uh, when you hold down alternate on any button, you can read out about it. And thickness, I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker, so maybe 0 0.03. Let's have a look, let's see how this works. So it's pretty close to the default settings, I just tweak it slightly, and then I'll just press final loops. Okay, so now we see that the final result looks like this. Okay, so maybe I don't want it, I can undo it, and maybe I want it to be slightly thinner. And it becomes like this. Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with that okay I can keep on uh, making it better so I can use my number 5 brush I 
take down the intensity slightly. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, indent to the center. So it looks like, uh, and of course you can also use alphas and whatnot. Just focusing on the silhouette here. And uh, and you will give some folds to it, and you'll look more and more realistic. So uh, for a quick result like this on the tutorial, I think this is very successful. Um, yeah, so I hope uh, you learned something from it. it pretty cool, right? So maybe I can, you know, we can still tweak this and push it inside a little bit on some parts to be thinner. If you don't want it to be so thick still. A little bit of thickness uh, is nice to have on the model itself. Okay, so maybe uh, what I can also do is I can use a curve strap snap, this one over here. Okay, I can, then I what I can do is I can add another piece on top, you know? so that's kind of like a overlay to it. So the draw size is a little bit big, so I'll make it a little bit thinner. Now that's better. Okay, and then I'll just fresh speed mass points, delete the curve, and then I'll, I can push this uh, this curve out. Okay, so so you can make this design go according to the uh, the flow of the bandage a little bit better. Well, I'm trying to shape it a little bit better. Then maybe I can press Ctrl D once to just give it a subdivision level and push it in. Okay. So there's one subdivision level to this. The point is just 1007. And yeah. Okay, maybe I want to do another one. Go share snap. Maybe this one is a shorter one. Okay, so now I, I need to jump back to this other piece. So I'm using more like a Dynamesh. So when I create a curve, it's a bit more natural. Lock the start, so the starting part doesn't move. Speed mass points, delete the curve. My number nine brush, just chop off over here. Actually, you no, know, I'll just use my mask lasso instead. Hi, did he didn't close hole? Okay, so I'll just close it right there. So you can create some nice, uh, nicer design on the bandage, and then uh, you can spend a bit more time to finish up nicely. But I think you get the point from this uh, video. Uh, so very short uh, tutorial using uh, extract panel loops and uh, some thickness to it, and then just uh, create the bandage of this. Okay, so hope you enjoy. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.